Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Kingdom Walk. I am Sonia Chambers. We're going to give um, you some time to jump on, and then we're going to start uh, talking about this Kingdom Walk. Tonight, we're going to be talking about getting above some things. So let's come in, just let's worship God. Let's praise him for his goodness, for his mercy, for his grace. There's none like our God. He's wonderful. He's miraculous in all his ways. So we're just thankful tonight. So welcome to everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, tonight, I'll be talking about the word above. And we just want to just, you know, let's just open in prayer. Father, we just thank you for helping us to get out from under some things. We want to be above. We want to be over. We want to we want to be high, but we want you to be lifted high above all else. So, Father, we just give you honor and glory tonight, and we thank you that we will get clarity as we walk out who we are in Christ, in Jesus' name, and we say amen. So, uh, good evening, everyone. It's um, streaming live from uh, Gather NYC. So, I'm back in New York City with the Gather team. Uh, and tonight, we just want to talk about the word above. You know, because we want to think about some things tonight as we walk out our, our kingdom mandate. What areas in our lives do we want to get above? You know, what areas in our lives do we want to lead? What areas in our life do we want to get to a higher level? Is it our careers? Is it your ministry? Is it your business? Is it the way your family functions? Is it your marriage? What do we want to get above? So the word above means to be in extended space over and not touching. But synonyms for it means high, means over, means raised, means overhead, means aloft, means atop. And there's some things tonight that we got to get. And another word for it is beyond. And there's some areas in our lives that we want to get beyond. We want to get above. So let's talk about the scripture tonight. And there will be, I'm going to start with the first one. It's Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 6. And I'm going to read it in the message. It says, if you listen obediently to the voice of God, and we got to start right there because guess what? It's God's voice that's going to get us above all our issues, all of our circumstances, all of our concerns. We have to hear his voice and his alone. It says, if you listen obediently to the voice of God, your God, and heartily obey all his commandments that I command you today, God, your God, will place you on high, high above all the nations of the world. All these blessings will come down on you and spread out beyond you because you have responded, responded to the voice of God. And tonight, that's what I want to encourage each and every one of us. We have to respond to God's voice. We can't just hear it and turn a blind eye. We can't just be hearers and not doers. It's time to move forward and do what he's calling us to do. In every area of your life, the scripture goes on to say God's blessings. It says, oh, excuse me, let me go back to it. It says, all these blessings will come down on you and spread out beyond you because you have responded to the voice of God, your God, God's blessings inside the city, God's blessings in the country, God's blessings on your children, the crops of your land, the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds, the lambs of your flocks, God's blessings on your basket and your bread bowl, God's blessings in your coming in and God's blessings in your going out. So tonight we're trying to walk out the blessed life. We're trying to walk out that we're getting above some areas and some situations, but we have to listen obediently to what the Lord is saying. And I want to share, I had to walk this out this week. Uh, I've been, you know, I've, I've been fasting throughout the week and I heard the voice of the Lord tell me to, you know, get up and go and, and, and pray in the park. So it wasn't comfortable because obedience has nothing to do with us being comfortable. It's, it, it has something to do with us following the instruction. So I got up early that morning, took a shower, and the obedience was I had to walk to the park 
I did not, I could not drive to the park. So I had walked from uh, Gather NYC to the Brookville Park. And then as I walked in the park, there's benches that are familiar to me. And we have a new initiative um, in collaboration with Standard Bear Ministries and Kingdom Advancement Alliance that we're doing something called the Bench Press Prayer Initiative. So we are finding benches and we are sitting once a week and spending 15 minutes praying for our community and the issues and the circumstances that we see. So I had to walk. So the walk was about a good half an hour. And then when I got into the park, I have a familiar bench that I like to sit at. And he said, no, you're not sitting at that bench. I need you to sit at a, a designated bench and I will show you which one. So I started walking through the park because this is a kingdom walk. So everything I'm talking about, it says, if you listen obediently to the voice of God. So I sat down and um, at the bench that the Lord told me and I started praying. And I know people in the park were trying to figure out why is she sitting? Because everyone's, you know, walking. And I'm saying good morning to everyone that's going by as I'm praying. So as I sat in the bench that he showed me, I saw flags up in the thing. I saw very unusual things going on in that particular area that I uh, that he told me to sit. So I prayed. I prayed the way he wanted me to. I prayed for the people. I prayed for the community. And then I had to get up and leave and walk back home. So now here we are. If you listen obediently to the voice of God, it's not going to be that you may want to do what the Lord is saying, but we have to be obedient to what he is saying. If we're going to rise above our situations, if we're going to get all these blessings that we're talking about, our children, our bread bowl, our city, our country, our state, our nation, then we as a people, as kingdom citizens, have to be obedient to what the Lord is saying. So the word is above. And what what's my role? I, you know, I was thinking about it uh, related to how do we get above? How do we teach people to get above their circumstances? And I'm, I'm tomorrow I'll be doing discipleship training um, here at Gather NYC with the disciples and the, and the Lord Holy Spirit shared this with me above activate believers to be obedient, visual and engaging. We have to get activated as believers to be obedient to what God is saying, to expect these blessings, to be visual, to be able to see what he's seeing and see things in the spirit. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to see what he was trying to show me that was planted in the park. And we have to be engaging. We have to be able to reach out to others. How will we get above situations when we only think about ourselves? I um, went to the gym this morning because it's a kingdom walk. So you get to, in this kingdom walk, I get to talk and tell you about the couple of things that's going on that I have to walk out. And I went to the gym this morning and I, you know, I sat in the, uh, in, in a, a small room that they have where they have a massage chair. And I, you've heard about this chair before because it's a wonderful chair. And, um, I sat in the chair and they had a television and I usually listen to worship music, but today the Lord said, listen to the television. And there were so many issues and circumstances that were going on that I, you know, that was going on with Ukraine and different things I needed to pray for that sometimes you will go to a place and you think that it's just about you. But for us, we have to listen obediently to the voice of God and heartily, the scripture says, heartily obey all his commandments. All, not some, because sometimes when the Lord tells us something, we want to do a partial. And I'm notorious for that, saying, Lord, I don't want to do all of it. But tonight I'm encouraging you for us to get above our issues, our circumstances, mm, our finances, our families, to be concerned about the issues that are going on with our children, our nation, our communities. We're going to have to listen to the voice of God. We have to be activated, hallelujah, believers who are obedient to what the word is saying, what the instructions are. We have to be visual. We have to be able to see in the spirit, not just see what's naturally going on, but we're going to have to pray against those things that we spiritually see because there's spiritual wickedness in high places and we have to stand firmly. And guess what? We're going to activate our prayer lives. And then we got to get engaged with that. We got to engage with the Lord. We got to say, Lord, 
some of these things I can't get above without you. Is it your family? Hmm. Is it your finances? Is it your marriage? Is it your health? I'm saying to you tonight, to get above all of these issues and circumstances, we're going to have to speak the word of God over it. But we, as an activated believer, we have to be obedient. He might have told you go to the doctor and you're ignoring it. You need to go. You can't just stay home and just pray. There's a reason that they're physicians. This word is for someone tonight. You could to get above these health challenges, these things that you're going to have to go and get yourself evaluated. So I speak that prophetically tonight because this is a kingdom walk. This is just not about talking, but we're going to have to walk out the things that the Lord is saying to us. We're going to have to get visual. We're going to have to see, not just see what's going on with us, but see what's going on around us and start to pray because we have to obediently hear his voice and the voice of a stranger we can't follow. So we can't be hearing the enemy's voice. We have to be listening for that still small voice. And that's the voice of Jesus Christ. And if you haven't accepted him as Lord and Savior, you need to accept him because the voice that you may be hearing is not his voice if you don't have him as a master and savior in your life. We got to be engaging. We're going to have to reach out to others as well, because when all of these blessings befall us on our children, this scripture is, is Old Testament, but it's it's relevant for today on your bread bowl. When you have more than enough, when you have more than enough food, be a blessing to someone, engage someone and share. It says on the crops and on our flocks. And we listen, this is New York City, but we do urban gardening here. And back, I'm waiting for my carrots. I have some carrots in the back of Gather that are planted. And it's not just for me to have a carrot, but for us to share with others. How do we get above our issues and circumstances? We're going to have to listen to, to the voice of God. We're going to have to be obedient to what he's saying. Mm, hallelujah. Father, even now in the name of Jesus, I speak a word over each and every one of them, that we are coming out of the issues and the circumstances of the things that want to oppress us and depress us in our families, in our communities, in our neighborhoods, in our nation. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not believe. We are, we are lenders and not borrowers in Jesus' name. And even right now, I want to speak that scripture. Hallelujah. Mm. Deuteronomy 28, 13. He said, the Lord will make you the head. And that word means leader and not the tail, which is a follower. It says, and you will be above only and you will not be beneath. So even now in the name of Jesus, anything that wants to oppress you, depress you, frustrate you in Jesus name. We cast it out right now in the name of Jesus. And we release love, power, and a sound mind. Because you are above, hey God, and not beneath in Jesus' name. The scripture says, if you listen and pay attention to the commandments of the Lord your God, which I am commanding you today to observe them carefully. And that means, that word carefully means you got to follow it to the T. So this is a kingdom walk tonight. And we got to start walking out as believers, activated believers, not sedentary believers. It's time to do. It's time to pray. It's time to speak the word. It's time to be obedient. It's time to, to look around and see what's happening and pray for the, our, our communities our cities, our neighborhoods, our nation in Jesus' name. It's time to get engaged and tell others about the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's how we're going to get above. Because as we walk out in the kingdom in Jesus' name, as we walk out and talk out the word of God, things have to shift. Things have to pivot. Things have to align with the kingdom of God. Because we're in the world, but we're not of the world. We're spiritual beings in a natural realm. So we got to function and operate as kingdom citizens and walk it out in Jesus' name. So it's time to be activated believers. It's time to be obedient. 
It's time to be visual. It's time to be engaging. It's time to rise above our own personal issues, bents, and circumstances and move in the direction, walk out who you are in Christ, in Jesus' name. And all those blessings will fall upon you. So what's our thoughts tonight? Are we going to be a leader? Are we going to be a head? Or are we going to be a tail? Are we going to be above? Or are we going to be beneath? Let's stay above. So God bless you all. My name is Sonia Chambers. I'm the Apostolic Leader of Kingdom Advancement Alliance in New York and Florida. And we have a team in Georgia. And I'm the senior pastor and overseer over Standard Bear Ministries in New York City, upstate New York, and Florida. And I pray that, th that you will walk out knowing that you are above and not beneath. As a kingdom citizen, you should not walk with your head down. Walk with your head high in Jesus' name. Lift your head, look up to, hey God, look up to the one who is your help. His name is Jesus Christ. And if you don't have him, just invite him into your life. So God bless you all. I love you all. Um, walk it out. Walk it out and know that Christ has already elevated you. Walk above in Jesus name and good night.